guys, Ryan Bidoff here. I want to share a couple tips for mastering the inner game of blogging. You know, it's very easy. You have access to all types of tips for the outer game, the practical tips, the creating the value, <clears throat> connecting with people, building friendships, all that good stuff. That has its part, but as you know, if anything, all it sprouts from within. That's where everything happens. That's where the dreams are designed. So you want to master the inner game of blogging, and then the outside stuff comes so much easier to you. The ideas, the tips, the people, the money, all that stuff. But you have to get really, 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 really clear in the inner world. You can see from my cute shirt, it has nothing to do with that. Dark shirt. To manifest that outer success. Now, number one, follow your thought. And that actually rhymes. Now the key with this is when you're following your fun, many of your problems will disappear because almost all resistance, whether it be to money, to people, to creative ideas, whatever it is with blogging, if you're resisting something, you're noticing the lack of something, it's just not happening, you're not letting it in, it's because you're moving away from the intent of following your fun towards something else. And that something else could be to get traffic, to get money, to blog for, oh gosh, to blog for whatever, to get famous and all this other stuff. And yeah, you know, all of us on some level, like a really small percentage, the ones who really rock it out, still have that attachment to some outcomes and are still thinking, yeah, I'd like to make money and this and that. But when your dominant energy is devoted to fun, the fun itself is the energetic reward so you don't need anything else. You won't blog and publish a post and be like, oh my God, now let me check and see what. No, the fun, the creation was the reward. It is the reward. The more you do that, you're gonna raise your vibe up so much higher that you're gonna let all that other stuff in. You won't, you can't block what you're detached from. And the more you just follow your fun, you're really gonna detach from all this stuff. And then the more you're going to detach, you're going to care even less and less if it's there. You're just going to be okay. And that's the energetic space where you have to be to, to really master that inner world of blogging because then all the magic happens. Number two, once you're following your fun, and by following your fun, I'm talking about whatever you could talk about all day long, blog about it. That's your niche. Number two, stay on fun. You can talk about staying on topic. But the more you just stay true to that, unless it's not fun any longer, then you want to switch it up. But really, when it's really coming from within and it's something that you love, you're going to stay on fun or stay on topic. Case in point, Blogging Paradise. I'm really having fun posting my beautiful travel images from all over the world and doing these videos. That's so much fun to me. So I keep doing that. Of course, it's all relevant to blogging from paradise. Blogging tips, travel photos, you know, how to retire to a life of island hopping through smart blogging. It's relevant. And the more you just keep energetically following your fun, diving higher and higher, and sending out that persistent, consistent message, and it's consistency, consistency. Not because you need to, not because you have to, not even because you want to, because it's fun. You're going to get clearer and clearer, and your clarity and your consistency, see, your consistent nature, you know, staying on topic, persistent nature, of course, too, but it's going to reflect back to you in the form of folks who really vibe with what you're doing. And again, this is all happening on the inside. The practical, yes, you're going to move into those steps. And again, you're going to align so much more when you really get down these two tips. So these are the really energetic foundations upon which I am building. I have built and I'm building Blogging Paradise. And I see successful bloggers all over who are doing the same thing. They really enjoy what they're doing and they just keep moving down that path. Now, if it doesn't become fun any longer, like I become hate to do videos. I'm just like, oh, I'm sick of talking. Just like, you know, with the eBooks for a while. I love doing them. And after a while, it's like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to do that anymore. It's not as fun to me. Then you may move on to something different, whether it's a totally different niche. Hey, it happens. This is all your energy. That's what's going to make everything pop, make everything go. Or whether it is do away with blogging forever. <gasps> Or whatever it is. Or maybe you'll just go on to podcasts. Or maybe you'll go back to writing posts. Maybe I'll do that. Who knows? But you still want to vibe so high following your fun that you just create a sort of energetic momentum which helps you be 
consistent with it. Now when you pop around, you can do it if you're really clear on it and you just have so much fun popping around between niches, but it's kind of a tough sell just because few people have the clarity to where folks will follow them blindly if they jump from niche to niche. Like if I focus heavily on the Make Money Online niche and then I become an affiliate marketing guy for the next post, then a travel blogger guy. It's just so few individuals lack that clarity around that, jumping around niche hopping to where they could vibe so high and raise their level of vibration so much so where people, uh, to the point where people will just follow them from niche to niche. And most of us are looking for someone who knows their stuff, who's following their fun, and who's consistent with that so they can kind of gain that energetic familiarity or energetic familiarity. So guys, that's it for today. Two fundamental tips for mastering the inner game of blogging. As within, so without, where, where, where are you about? Oh no, where, where, where are you? All right. T-Rex, huh? you guys got it. Bye, 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 bye. bye. Buy a blogging from Paradise ebook, or five, or ten on Amazon. Just buy it. You'll see the library below. Click on that link. You'll see it below too. And buy a handful of books. Read them, study them, buy a few more, share them with your buddies. Until next time. Oh, wait a second. Don't forget to become a blogging Paradise affiliate too. You could make money online through your blog. Passive income stream, of course, you're going to be creating, connecting, having fun, doing all that good stuff. You could just simple, easy, easy, easy three step process to sign up. You have over 125 ebooks or 142 blogging paradise products to choose from. I think you can choose like 15 or 17, put in your carousel. I cover it on my blog. You'll see, be a BFP affiliate. So, definitely, when you're buying a few ebooks, why not sign up and cash in? Until next time, enjoy paradise.